friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Okay, so this is carrying on from where we left off last week. So if you haven't seen that, click up here, go watch that before you watch this one, and it'll bring you up to speed on what's going on. As you can see, spectacular day behind us. We really nailed the weather on this one. So this was pretty much what we were hoping for. The river has dropped dramatically again overnight, and it's looking perfect. Looks like we've got the good conditions for spotting as well, so could be a good day. So we're coffee, breakfast, we're gonna pack up, then we're gonna walk ourselves right the way downstream, pretty much to where we left the quad bike the other day. Well then we're gonna dump most of the weight, then we're gonna fish our way back upstream, walk back down this afternoon, pick up the packs, get on the quad, back to the truck, drive home. So it's gonna be a big day, but hopefully worth it. Pretty excited about this to be honest. Look at that river. That is just stuff dreams is made of mate. Still pretty early, seven o'clock, but we could be out of here by 7.30, that'd be sweet. All right, let's go do that. Okay, cool. So we're, uh, oh, we've walked a ways downstream. This is where we're gonna start fishing. So we're just kind of actually hanging out. I'll set up first, we'll make a coffee. Just basically waiting for the sun to get up, get on the water so we can start to see stuff. Then we're just gonna start picking our way back upstream to pretty much where we came from. So we're gonna go, Larry. Remember Larry, I haven't seen Larry for a while. Let's see, Helios 3 6 weight F. And um, the reason I'm using Larry today is because I broke my other rod yesterday. Go head up. Oh, where goes my rod? Um, thinking about that, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure the reason that rod broke where it did and how it did, it was because I'm too rough on my gear. Like I, I just throw my stuff down on the rocks a lot and I throw it into bushes and I kind of, I, I treat stuff pretty rough. So don't do that. Don't do that. It's not a good thing to do and I need to be better at doing it. And I'm pretty sure that's why it broke when it did and where it did. So uh, yeah, don't be like Alex. Treat your gear well. Because of that, I'm uh, using my spare rod. Mirage LT size 2 reel from Orvis in the olive, dark olive green. And then on here I've got an Amplitude Infinity Smooth from Scientific Anglers. Probably the best line out here. Well, I reckon it's pretty damn good anyway. On the end of that fly line I've got a 7 foot floating poly leader as per usual down to a tippet ring. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to rebuild my entire leader from scratch because at the end of the day yesterday Alex did another boo-boo and he bust off on a really good fish at the end of the day because I got everything caught up in a bush on the previous fish, got super angry, ripped it out of the bush, spooked the fish and damaged the line. Didn't check my leader, fish to the next fish, busted off. If it wasn't for Dean catching fish, would have been a pretty quiet afternoon. So there we go. There's a seven foot floating poly leader down to a, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, tippet ring. And then we'll build something off of that. So I reckon I'm gonna go 3X. Basically all the tippet and leader I use is the Scientific Angler's Absolute Supreme tippet. It's, it's really, really good stuff. Well, I broke my rod before I broke the tippet yesterday, so. So I'm gonna double Davey knot some 3X to that tippet ring. Tag ends in the hip pack. Now I'm gonna go about seven, Maybe eight feet of this, so that's five, seven. Yeah, we'll go about, that's about seven or eight feet, at a guess. Then off of that, we'll smack on some 4X. So an arm length, probably about four or five feet of that today. And I'll blood knot 4X to the 3X. If you don't know how to do a blood knot, or you wanna know how I do my knots, I will link that up here. You can go check that out. And then I'll put a transport fly on. I'm gonna put a size 16 gray thing on as a transport fly. It's a good chance uh, I'll probably use this anyway, because I like it. And again, I'll double Davy that. And we're pretty much ready to go. <laughs> uh, inside my glasses, get out. Tag ends in the hip back. Barb's already crushed, beauty. It says about 20 feet all up from the fly line to the fly. Should be good. All right, let's, uh, let's have a coffee. And she found a couple of fish just moving into the sunshine to feed. One of them's worth catching. Oh, 
Yeah, okay. <coughs> He's dropped back a bit, eh? He came right up in the water there. That should do it. Got him. That was good. That was good. That all worked out pretty well. Not a big fish. Not a strong though. Real pretty. Oi. Oh, it's a surfer. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers, Cheers brother. Beautiful. Oh, that's a kraken. Look, Look at the, the colours, man. Just beautiful. All right, we are away. We are off to a good start. Like I say, not a big fish, but just beautiful condition. Great colors and just, just magic. Nothing wrong with that fish at all. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Oh yeah. Oh, cool, both on the board. That was such a pretty little fish. It actually looked bigger in the water. I thought she was twice that size in the water, to be honest. But it turns out I don't know stuff. Let's go find something maybe a bit bigger. Nothing, man. Don't waste that time, mate. Yep. Oh, I just turned the camera off. Sorry everybody, I literally, we've just given up, we called it, I turned the camera off, <clears throat> then put one more cast over and hooked it. Hopefully you get to see the fish. Oh, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. The fish. Good nice work, right, buddy. Good stuff, man. <laughs> Bit of flood damage there. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, a beautiful fish. Hold that. Beautiful. Let him go. A really cool fish. Uh, had some damage on the front there. Dean reckons from flood damage. Which makes sense, you could get some big floods and this did have a big flood over winter, so yeah, but otherwise, beautiful fish and uh, yeah, good stuff. Let's go out here caddis for a change, size 14. I'm gonna go size 16 again, size 16 grey, I just like it, it's just a good fly, but I think this will do it. I really do. If he's feeding that well, he'll uh, he'll come up and nobble something, I reckon. Beauty. Take that barb down. Pretty 
good, pretty good, pretty good. And we're ready to go. Okay. That should be good. Go! Oh, it's solid. Where are you going? Where are you going? Here we go. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, that's a stunning fish. Okay, so I'm really unhappy with myself. I did something very bad and I turned the camera off to reposition and didn't turn it back on so I didn't get to show you that fish as well as I would have liked. So I'm pretty bummed about that because it was a beautiful fish. Really, really nice. It would have been nice to show you. Oh, we'll have to catch another one. Can you see a fish? All right, Dean's gonna catch one and I'll make sure I press record. <laughs> Probably won't come out on here because I was too far back with the wide lens. That fish came out of the water like ah and ate that dry fly. Really nice long pause by Dean because the fish was kind of facing us before he struck, and that was just perfect. Beautiful fish, fish of the day for sure. And uh, I remembered to press record on the camera so you got to see it. You're welcome, everybody. Beautiful, mate. Somewhere around there. Straight down here. Just sitting on that patch of white. That's a fish. 100%.
This is turning out to be a nightmare. Oh, this is difficult. Look at this. All right, let's learn from yesterday and let's not get angry. Wow, that is really wrapped up. How does that go around there like that? Looks okay. That looks okay. Okay, ready? Got him. Nice. Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit. Be by it in your pack, I guess. Just want to keep him away from this tree. Looks like I'm coming downstream anyway, bro. Oof. 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 Uh. Uh. Oof. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, dude. He might come back. Yeah, doesn't feel like it. Take this. Give me the net. Get the chopper on. Nope. He's right under this bank. <clears throat> Oof. Here we go. Oof. Oh no, there's a big snag. Oh. Oh. Uh. Let me try. Oh, oh and he's gone. Again. Oh, dude. No. Oh. Sheet. Oh. 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 Where's this fish going? Come on. Oh, get out of there. I need you in here, mate. Oh, I need Dean here. I need you on this beach. This is my chance. No, 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 no. Dude, come on, dude, give up. Give up, come on. Keep coming, come on. Oh. Woo. oh, it's astonishing. That was, uh, uh, that was epic. I think I've drowned my other GoPro. Had two GoPro batches in there, they're pretty wet. Yeah, so sorry about the raggedy footage, but that was one of the scrambles of my life. I'm down 300 meters, 400 meters, I don't even know. But what happened was a fish got wrapped, so I just couldn't turn her. And the bill of water was big, she was strong, she was big. That was cool, that was so cool. <laughs> If I had any whiskey left, I'd drink it. So glad I got that fish into the net. That was epic. Everything soaked. I just threw all my stuff at Dean, grabbed his net, and then just legged it out. Legged it after that fish. Do you notice how Dean didn't come with me though? He just sat down there on a the bank. Where's the commitment from your net man? 
Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be light on this, I feel it. Strong new sticky. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You just want to lose all your stuff. I don't want to lose my stuff. It just breaks a lot. I just break a lot of my stuff, that's all. Dean's put one on uh, the head of this pool. Rigged up, split shot, small fly, no indicator. Let's see what happens. Beautiful, eh? Yep. Well done, man. Great fishing. Great fishing. Okay, guys. Uh, it's five past five and we have fished longer than we should have so we're gonna pack things down We've got a big walk back to the quad bike pick up the rest of the stuff We dropped off this morning jump on the quad get back to the truck probably get some food on the way back home And then a long drive home a super cool couple of days this guy right here saved the day this afternoon Just as well and uh, yeah, just a good time. Hope you enjoyed this one guys Give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff Have yourselves a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Peace